G'day, welcome back yeah. to the show. Daryl Nicholson, Twombly 4350 TV, Warwick 4370 TV and Santhal 4380 TV. Today with the guys from Warwick Lifestyle Properties, how are you Craig and Joanne? Good. Good, thanks Nico. You're looking absolutely divine. Oh, I'm trying my best mate. It's been a bit of a long couple of weeks. Uh, I was a guest of the Queensland Health up at uh, the base hospital for a while, but I'm feeling pretty good now, so all back on track. So how are things going out at Warwick Way? What's been happening out there? Uh, things are insane, the amount of uh, interest in people wanting just to find out what's happening out here in relation to what they can buy um, property-wise, size-wise. Uh, the town is buzzing. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of, lot, of, um, lot of happy people, which has been magnificent compared to the last yeah, couple of months with our little, little downturn. Uh, oh, things yeah. are looking very positive. Well, that's good. I've been talking to Tressa Lindenberg from Sovereign Properties in um, uh, Hampton Real Estate. They're getting a lot of inquiry from Brisbane for people looking to get out of the rat race and get there. Are you finding that as well? For permanent residents, but also um, weekenders. Okay. So, and also tourism, which is fantastic. Like, we just had a meeting this morning with one of the local tourism operators, and they have never been busy. I'm like, this is their record, and they've been there for 15 years or something. Yeah, and their last month was their record. Ten years. Ten years. That's amazing. Last month was their, was their record month. Isn't that great? I mean, if something's come good out of COVID, it's the borders being closed for a while, and people absolutely trapped in Queensland having to go and, <laughs> and take some day They're trips. They're having a look in their backyard, aren't they, Daryl? Like... Um, they would never have thought to just go two hours west before and see what's out here, but now they are. So. Yeah. I was reading reports about Stanthorpe, but a lot of people went and visited the, um, the, the thermometer out there, which reached minus two yesterday, apparently. So. We were out there on Saturday morning, Yep. and it was deathly cold. <laughs> well, Why cold. people want to bet, I have no idea. Oh. Um, we just wear our beanies. It's a fashion thing, Daryl. That's right. You know, where else in Australia can you go out and wear your beanies and your leather gloves and your scarves? And it's good fun. And that's right. And also enjoy a frozen gelato while you're out there as well in winter. I love that. Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I chocolate, I think. Yeah. So 4370, tell us what the people can do out there. What can punters expect if they jump in the car and head out to Warwick? What's, what's on offer out there? Well, Morgan Park is just about up and running again. So oh, we've yeah, got yeah. the historic bikes, uh, touring cars. People can actually just book their own car in and go for a spin uh, if they get in contact with the um, Warwick Car Club. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, you might have seen that uh, Baringa Gardens, we, we moved that property. So we're welcoming a new family into the area. They're going to have Baringa Gardens up and running okay. as, a, as a nursery and cafe. Right. So that's, that's really exciting because it's a new family, new, new, new vibe coming in. Yeah. And how far away would they be from setting that up? Uh, that I can't tell you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, th- I think if we can, uh, I think they'll be looking at around Christmas launch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe early December they might be able to take advantage of some uh, Christmas parties. Um, but they're excited about coming out here. Yeah. And, uh, if, plenty, plenty to do out here, Nico. You know, people can come out, they can go for a drive out and have lunch at the Kalani Hotel or they can mm-hmm. go and go for a, you know, that's out towards Queen Mary Falls. Mm-hmm. Uh, go out. of the Roses is a beautiful stay, a very unique stay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. There's not many nuns left there. So <laughs> none, none nuns. No, yeah, yeah. None for nuns, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a bad cricket school. That's right. There's a pub in the middle of town there. I can't remember the name, but there's actually bullet holes in the wall, isn't there, or in the roof? Criterion. The Criterion Hotel. Criterion is that? That's the one. Yeah, yeah. I sat in the yeah, public they're, bar there. And uh, it's they're, a, they're still shut down. Oh, really? However, they are looking to get up and running okay. very soon. Uh, the Condomine Club is up and running. Mm-hmm. Uh, Most of our cafes and restaurants are open again. Um, Abby's now doing nighttime meals, which they haven't done before. Okay. So, um, the Warwick Golf Club's open. 
He just had a cancellation, so he's at the golf course on Wednesday afternoon. He's happy. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> good stuff. Yeah, it, it, it was funny how um, they opened up golf clubs, but they didn't let bowling clubs open, which I thought was unusual. But anyhow, there seems to be a bit of normality. That was the wives, Daryl. All us golfing wives were like, please open the golf courses again. So that's what that was about. So you're a golf yeah. widow on a Wednesday. Yeah, but the bowling clubs, you've got to go, you've got to have your seven ounce when you get there, and then you've got to do a seven ounce at, the, at each end. That's right. And because they didn't have, want to have bar staff and they didn't want to uh, have to wash glasses, it was mm -hmm. just easier to shut the bowls club. Exactly. Joe, can you tell us a bit about Choose Warwick? I mean, we, if, if people are coming out there, how do they find Choose Warwick on Facebook? What, what do they look for? Yeah, just, um, just go to our Facebook page, Choose Warwick. We're mm -hmm. also going to add um, a lot of the accommodation um, and tourist sites to our Warwick lifestyle property as well as Choose Warwick. So okay. that when people inquire about property, they go, where do we stay? Yep. Um, out here at Warwick because we have such a selection and it's a diverse range like we have the Airbnbs, we have B&Bs, we have motels, We, as I said before we have things like um, Abbey the Roses, the Kalani Pub mm -hmm. so um, we're actually going to list those on not only just Choose Warwick but also on our own site so that when people come down they can make a trip bring the whole family down when they want to look at real estate down here um, and hopefully hang around. We just um, the foot traffic that we're getting from people coming from Brisbane, we put brochures out on a Monday and by Thursday, a hundred are gone and most oh, wow. of those are gone. So it's just, um, and trying to lock up of a night is families wandering the streets of a night that are staying in town um, and you just have a chat. So th there is obviously things to do because they keep coming back and they just love it when they get down here because we are a rural town. Um, it's a beautiful town. We've got some diverse retail outlets to wander up and down the streets. So, um, yeah, it's been, it's been exciting. It's the, the most busiest we've seen it. Yeah. Warwick's one of those towns where the, the main street is where it happens and you, mm -hmm. you can walk up one side of the street and then you walk back down the other side of the street yeah? and you see so different cafes, different little outlets, uh, a couple of nice clothes stores. Yeah? And, and they're more like boutiques than what you yes. would probably find because we're, we actually have our major shopping centre in our main street, which is rare because in a lot of mm -hmm. towns, like a little bit just outside of town, we're here, you park your car and everything is in the main street. Mm. So. Uh, I know when I've pulled up in there, trying to find a car park can be really hard sometimes, but... Um, we, do have, we do have underground parking now, where, where, <laughs> so there is parking underneath <laughs> Rose City Shopping Centre. Cool. I love that little laneway you got there too, with all the Warwick legends and it gives you a bit of yeah. history about the people that put yeah, the town together. The hall. Yeah, so. Um, there's the information centre in Town Hall and then you've got that, um, all the business people, um, past and present, down that, that alleyway, it's lovely. Um, we have the new um, horsepower out the front in, what park's that called? I don't know what park that's called. I should know what park that's called, but it's not coming to me. So that's becoming its own little attraction out the front. Um, yep. There is an a independent tourism board now. Um, that we are starting to make Warwick a destination, not just a drive-through place. I mean, it's great for day trippers, for Gold Coast and Brisbane, particularly motorbikes. It's a nice trip with your motorbikes to, to come out two hours out, have a coffee, and then two hours back. Mm -hmm. um, but we're also trying to make it a destination, and we're focusing on heritage and horsepower. Um, out right. this way. So there'll be more so, exciting things happening in the next 12 months. So I'm a bit curious, you said you've got an independent tourism group. Have you mm. created that or have you worked with a few people um, to do that? Our ex-mayor, Tracy Doby, has put it together. So at the mm -hmm. moment, there's four of us on the committee, mm -hmm. um, two ex-councillors and a lady from Cherubar. So we have Cherubar Resort as well. So families can come out there and go motorbike riding and horse riding and um, have a bit of a country experience as well as the venue centre that's out there. Um, mm -hmm. So Fran, who manages that, um, she's on, on it and I'm on it as well from the business perspective, how we can um, promote business, uh, how we can promote tourism to um, Brisbane and Sydney and the Gold Coast. Okay, so how would people find find that body that you've created? Have you created a Facebook page? We just started it now, so we actually meet again on Monday night right. and hopefully then we'll be launching something. Um, so I will send you an email. That, I'd, be, I'd be curious to see that because um, that's one thought I've got out here in Toowoomba is to create another little body that we could help in the CBD because the CBD of Toowoomba is really struggling at the moment and um, yeah. a lot of businesses are closed down because of COVID and um, 
I think they they struggled with the bushfires and and trying to go online and yeah, some people just packed up and closed, which is unfortunate in the CBD. But um, yeah. we want to try and revitalise that. So because the CBD is important, and we see that in Warwick, that CBD area is just it's bustling all the time. And I think Daryl, you just touched on something that's very important for every any business owners, um, Toowoomba, Warwick, Kalani, Stanthorpe that are watching. We have to have an online presence. Like mm. when I first started Choose Warwick here, um, I got a lot of resistance because people didn't want to go to online. We mm -hmm. have to go to online to promote. Mm -hmm. um, we we do ninety five percent of our promotion for real estate online, and it, it like we had ninety two thousand people through our site in in April. That was purely from social media content. So like what you're doing, um, yeah. you just have to reach people online. And, and if businesses want to survive now, they really have to get involved. Mm -hmm. um, and, I don't like seeing myself on video. I don't like seeing my, my photo. I know Craig certainly doesn't, um, but we just have to do it. It's just, it's the way it is now. You know, that's, we can actually connect with people doing what we're doing now and they can get to know us and get a feel for, for, for us as well as for Warwick. And everyone has to do that so that we can get our, our word out there. It's really funny. In 2016, I created 4350 TV to get real estate leads. And I found the phone did ring because people could see what I, what I was really like, because um, sometimes I don't trust real estate agents, but the videos you guys have been doing. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm waiting for the poll results to come back because our Burjo's property of the week, we did our normal one on Saturday, which yeah. went out, but the week prior I did the soft puppet. Oh yeah, I saw that. That was good. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting on the poll to come back because if people prefer the soft puppet to my face, <laughs> The soft puppet will become a permanent fixture <laughs> yep. on Burjo's property of the week. Oh, good stuff. No, that was really good. And like, even when you were driving out to that property on Saturday, just to shoot the breeze and explain where you were going off of that was really cool. So um, I think you're doing yeah, great stuff. Yeah, people love it. They just love seeing what we're doing, you know, so, um, and realise that real estate agents aren't bad people. That's right. You know, there's... Oh, we're, we're, we're probably more normal. If, if normal is normal, we're more normal than anybody because we, we really do love just being at home. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and the reason that we're doing what we're doing is because this is such a, a, a vibrant little city and so much opportunity out here. Yep. And it's, it's cost effective to live in a small area like this. Yeah, you, we've got really good schools and really good infrastructure, medical uh as you go through to the next stage of your life and we're, we're not that far from from you know, if you have to fly you're two hours from brisbane you know mm -hmm. two and a quarter hours from gold coast and then you know you're an hour from well camp mm -hmm. we're not that far removed yeah. and, and there is just you know, opportunity yes i always like when i go to stanthorpe i just like calling into whether it's to see Dwayne at the weeping mulberry or yourselves in the oh, cbd okay. or just go into one of the shops, get some fuel, get a cup of coffee or something, just put some money into the economy. That's what I, I like to do. And I encourage Toowoomba people, please, in Brisbane, Gold Coast, wherever you're watching this, to please call into the Weeping Mulberry and say good day to Craig and, and Joe at um, Craig, uh, we have Warwick some Lifestyle. Really great cafes, don't we, Daryl? Like the, oh. is, the Weeping Mulberry is not just a cafe. It's, it's like a, an art gallery rolled out pieces of sale. And you've got Gardens Galore, which is not mm -hmm. just a cafe. It, it's... it's um, you can buy all your garden supplies as well as some really unique gifts. We've also yep. got a little gallery, which is the same, which is kind of more um, interiors. And then we've got our neighbours, um, yep. the, the cherry, the cherry tree. tree. So we've got four, I mean, there's more than that, but they're, they're mm. four. We make all of them contribute greatly to the community here, um, yep. which just makes it very easy for us to sing their praises. Exactly. How are the girls at the uh, YMCA going? The, the, the <laughs> yeah, Sam and Brooke, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Sam and Brooke. Yeah, Brooke has been uh, flogging us senselessly yeah, um, with the uh, group classes, which yeah. which we just love. Um, and they're back to normal as of virtually next Monday. Mm -hmm. uh, the pool will be open. The all the classes that were were cancelled uh, due to COVID are now coming back online plus extras and then you've got the full gym facility it's a great facility yeah good it really is it is yeah, and it went to her head daryl it definitely went to, yeah. to um brooke's head she is now a celebrity 
and we have to make a booking to see her yeah. and speak really? to her, us she's mortals. Oh, yeah, they, they were looking for something to do, so we, we bought them, uh, we got some shirts made up so that they could like go and put our for sale signs in the ground or sold signs in the ground. Well, yep. they're just much too busy now <laughs> going, out, going out for coffee or um, signing autographs. So, or spending their money. Oh, or yeah. spending their money that they won. Yeah. I was really honoured that day to inter- I was really honoured that day when you introduced me to the girls to interview them, and that video went down to YMCA in Brisbane, Queensland, and uh, I think it got spread around. So um, I really do appreciate that, and the girls were a lot of fun to interview. They were really. Uh, oh, that's just them. Yeah. 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 Good. No, okay. good people. Yeah. Okay, Brisbane, uh, Toowoomba, uh, Gold Coast, wherever you're watching this, jump in the car, get out to Warwick, and um, really enjoy the hospitality out there. It is a great place, and. Um, Kalani's close by as well and that you know there's a lot to see and do there. I want to thank you for your time today and really do appreciate it guys and um, we'll have to catch up again. I w- I'm really curious about your independent tourism thing yes, that you're working on Joe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah good stuff. Okay well thanks no guys. Worries, Nico. Get thank better and come and see us. I will mate I'll be on the road um, in the next week I'm hoping so I'm um, just waiting to hear back from Polar and then I'll be doing another road trip so Thanks for being on the show today. And uh, remember, for Warwick 4370, it's more than just a postcode, isn't it, guys? It's all about community as well. Absolutely. Community, lifestyle, and relationships. Great stuff. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.